Hi, it is Ayi Kam Time again. So lately, this uh, three weeks, I got a lot of message from different parts of the world. And uh, the message is asking th the same questions of uh, they want to study Yik Kam Wing Chun from me. Should they come uh, and study with me? How long it takes? Or can they do uh, uh, online study with me? Okay. Uh, so here I like to uh, reply to everyone. First of all, I do not teach martial arts. Okay, I do research, and uh, I really don't uh, teach Yikam Wing Chun. As in this uh, I Kam YouTube, uh, what I present is the basic science and art of ancient Chinese uh, internal arts. Okay, so it is a common denominator of the uh, ancient internal arts, which is I'm presenting. Uh, it is not a style or uh, it is uh, not a lineage but the common denominator it is just uh, a few days ago somebody visited me and asked me what type of Wing Chun I do is this a Yik Kam Wing Chun I say no this is a common denominator of Wing Chun the most most simple stuff which is uh, I extract out after uh, studying and researching Wing Chun for past 160 years and uh, even the uh, the YouTube in the YouTube of the uh, the reality of talk that is just uh, chum Q stuff if you do it properly that's what it is okay the only thing is that these days people don't do that uh, maybe because of the uh, different view and so forth you know, and uh, uh, people don't get that close but that is what this common denominator and by physics we know it has to get that, that close and we, we have to know how uh, by physics and biomechanics how things works okay and how is limitation also and of course there's the BUG type of teaching which is different okay so uh, in terms of the uh, 1840 Yikam Shirin Tao uh, this is all in the whole sets uh, because uh, the whole sets of the uh, the full sets of the Yikam Shiryu Tao 1840 have uh, the uh, Shiryu Tao Chongqiu Biuji uh, uh, techniques and all technology in it okay? so there's nothing special at all so whoever like to study with me actually is very simple just get the book. This two book, okay. Go through it. Study what is teach in the uh, ancient uh, Chinese internal art, and make corrections on whatever you practice to accord with the science and the art. According to the 6.13.3 See, I'm not interested in convert anybody to any style or to, 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 to my lineage I'm interested to uh, bring up a common denominator basic education because this is needed for us to proceed further Okay uh, so just make life easy okay simple for everybody and uh, don't have to learn some calligraphy from Yikam lineage or this and that okay just get the book and uh, find out what is the thing the ancient uh, Chinese practice and uh, how it things accord to the law of physics, biomechanics, and the yellow emperor classics and, and the contents of it and then just uh, implement uh, into 
whatever lineage or style you practice, make yourself better, right? It is not about join a, a, a group or club or a religion. It doesn't have to be like that. It is an education. And hopefully after you do that, uh, you get better and your lineage get better and your style get better. Because I love to see everybody's lineage and style get better. I have no uh, intention to convert anybody. I'm just a researcher. Okay? And to seeing everybody have a good education and doing better and progress further, I'm happy about that. Okay? Now, uh, another issue is there are many people usually like to argue on how the Asylum Tao have this uh, mind power and how are they uh, doing internal Wing Chun or internal type of Wing Chun art and so forth. Okay? Yeah, I like argue. And uh, when I try to reason with them, they always say, oh, because you never train with such and such. Uh, you, how come you know? How can you know? Okay? Seriously? A lot of things can be known because this is a technology. Like if you inspect the water pipe, even though you do not install the water pipe, you know it's leak or not. You know that. Okay. So today I'd like to share with you something very, really important. See, the Chinese in the older generation, like my, 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 my Sifu generations, like uh, my Sifu uh, Venerable Xuanhua generations, they, they usually don't uh, like to say a lot of things, even think it's wrong. Okay? Because uh, they are really, uh, there's a Chinese traditions. Okay? Uh, the, the motto is, you watch out for yourself. You make sure you do the right thing and do not uh, go critic others. But in the uh, lecture, they will also bring up issue if it is a problematic. One of the uh, expert in Qigong, in Dao, in Zen is uh, Mr. Nan Huai Jing, Grandmaster Man Huai Jing. This is a person I respect a lot because whatever he got, he make it open. And in fact, I am uh, try to learn what he do. Whatever I got, I make, make it open because it's for everybody. It's not for myself, okay? And it's an education. And today I want to show you something shocking, okay? It will shock you guys, but this is reality. Some will never like this. This is the book of uh, Nan Huai Jin, Mr. Nan Huai Jin, Grandmaster Nan Huai Jin. Okay? This Chan Tong Qi is about the, uh, the, the, the handling of the Qi and, and cultivations of the mind in Taoism and uh, Buddhism involved in this book. Tibetan Buddhism involved in this book. But when I'm saying uh, involved Buddhism, I mean practice, okay? Practice of how to handle the Qi and uh, all this uh, real practice, not philosophy, okay? Not theory, practice. Okay, what does it mean? How to do it, okay? And draw here, okay? And if one know how or where to to, to find this thing, there's a lot of things there in the lecture, okay? And today I want to show you this is something shocking. In this book, okay, page 38. This is his. What happened is that a person of his, uh, his friend of Nan Huai Jing is uh, asking him to watching 
a very famous Hong Kong movie star's uh, uh, records of his life. And his comment here is, this person, this movie star, this superstar, sure will die because real Chinese Kung Fu is not this way. Okay, he do not understand, this movie star do not understand the qi part of the Chinese Kung Fu, qi part uh, development of the Chinese Kung Fu. So this documentary or this, uh, this, 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 this TV or this film or this video is better to be banned so that the young people who have no idea what they are doing do not die because of mispractice, okay? Because the development of qi is improper, okay? So, many people like to argue that they are internal, they can use mind power, they are shielding power, is this and that. Guess what? If you face the real expert like that, they can tell you right away what the heck's going on. Same with if you face an MMA pro fighter, they will tell you right away what is going on. Nobody can be as people, okay? Those are real pro. So in Chinese martial arts, there always is, it's said, Wai Lian Jing Pi Gu. The externally you train the, the sinews, the tendon, okay, the muscle and your bone. Nei Lian Yi Kou Qi. Internally you develop the Qi. Qi here means two things. Okay, as in this book. Qi can be meaning breathing, inhale, exhale. Can also mean energy, which is flow in the meridians. Okay. So if we do not understand that as uh, we put it here, we really don't know what is qi and how. What is the basic of that? For example, in the breathing, you have the full body breathing, or you have the panting breathing, and so forth. And let's look at. Uh, look at the thing, the reality of uh, usually when people practice Siu Tao. How many of them are suffocating, uh, panting? Is that the way how to handle the breathing? Is that the way how Chinese Kung Fu uh, develop uh, the internally train the Qi, the breathing? In this book, The Six Healing Sound, it deal with how to handle the breath, whether it's charge and discharge, and how the process going on. Okay. So if one want to know how to practice uh, the, the the Chinese kung fu in terms of uh, internally train the qi or nailian yi kou qi, the basics here. Okay. If we don't know that, what is internal? Okay, what is internal? Or, you know, Jing or all this thing, is it internal? It tells us very clearly. Externally, we train the tendon, sinews, muscle, and the bones. Internally, we train Ikho Qi, that means your breathing and your energy in the body. If we don't know that, what is internal? And if I'm going to question people like that, like Mr. Nan Huai Jing, on, oh, how can you know that movie star, you don't even train with him? It is like I'm trying to question the MMA uh, pro fighter on how to uh, 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 do a punch. Oh, because uh, how can you know uh, uh, that punch doesn't work? or that punch is weak since uh, you didn't train with them, okay? 
So a lot of these things are ridiculous. It is like a debate or argue for argue sake, debate for debate sake, and one doesn't even know the basic and the, how proper how to, to, to properly handle the thing or the limitations. Okay. And uh, another thing is, it said right, externally train uh, the sinews, the muscle, and the, uh, the, 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 the the bones. Okay, is that important? Is that internal? Sure. Why? No matter what jing you have. Okay. No matter what type of jing you have. Or you want to talk about forceful or whatever heck. If you look at the person, your opponent, if his shoulder is bigger than your thigh, then you know you are in a disadvantage. Or even if their shoulder is par with your thigh, the same size with your thigh, you know you are facing big issue okay sure we can talk about uh, to, to increase our handling okay so we're talking about the uh, using the tool to increase the handling okay okay and like we are in the Cham way or the Tuo way, we are like this uh, screw here. But guess what? When others shoulder is bigger than your thigh, this wrench is no longer this size. This wrench might be five, ten times bigger than this screw. We always experience when we try to wrench something and the screw breaks. That is standard steel, okay? So don't tell me that the body is not like that, okay? So there's a limitations. So all this Siulim Tao is internal, I have internal, you have internal, mind power, all this thing. I respect everybody's uh, 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 claim. But what is reality? Okay? We need to know. As Sun Tzu said, know yourself, know your opponent. Okay? If the opponent is 100 pounds more than me, stronger than me, and his tie, his shoulder, this, uh, this, this arm here, the upper arm here, is bigger than my tie, then you know what you're facing. Okay? And if you're breathing, do not be able to get the full body breathing. How is your body uh, the, 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 the breathing and the energy and oxygen and so forth par with that person. So one need to know. Okay. So internal, one need, really need to know what is internal. External, one really need to know what is external. Never get into the fuzzy term internal, internal, internal and nobody know what is internal. You can see a lot of people. Okay. They said they are trained internal, and then they, they make this uh, uh, funny sound of uh, hung and ha, hung and ha, and they thought that there's internal qigong. You know what? In the ancient China, okay, including Nan Huai Jing, Mr. Nan Huai Jing, there's many experts there. Hung and ha, what's hung? Heng is just a description of you breathe with the nose. Ha is the description of you breathe with your mouth. As in the six healing sound. The tu na, inhale and exhale method. Okay? 
So it is really ridiculous already when you when when it is uh, what is this uh, uh, pre, uh, presented in the ancient and today is like become a very creative stuff. They already be able to interpret as they like it, okay? And we know with those kind of thing, it's not going to go far because this thing is not up to anybody's interpretations, okay? So, uh, get the book and uh, study it and see how the Chinese uh, do their stuff. And uh, just correct your practice if you, uh, if you have anything violations in the 613.3. Okay. No need to study with me on Yikam Wing Chun. No, I do not want to convert, convert you. I want your style, uh, your school, your lineage to do good and to grow and prosper. This is just a basic educational stuff. Finally, I, uh, I often say, I often hear people say, telling me that, oh, you're just promoting your book, marketing. You know, this is uh, eye pencil, apple pencil. This is a book from uh, Nan Huai Jing, Lao Si. Okay, Grandmaster Nan Huai Jing. Am I promote this thing here too? Why do I buy them? I pay for this thing, right? This is about 100 bucks. This is not cheap either. This is a one set of this book, so 80 something bucks. Why do I buy them? Well, if I need information which is to help me to do better, I invest on this. Because I have to, I need them. Okay? I might promote this to, to sell you uh, Apple Pencil and, uh, and, uh, and, and this book. No, I just have to tell you where you can get the information. Okay? So this is for you today. I know what I uh, share with you today probably might shock you on a certain thing and probably you don't disagree with me. But, you know, reality is reality. I don't like a lot of things which is, uh, happen in this reality too. But I have to accept it because I, I'm just an uh, ordinary human being living in a real world.